Welcome to this changelog video roundup for February 2025, hosted by me, the Descript Changelog. We're moving to a monthly format for these videos. I'm sure those of you who watch these regularly will be devastated, but it's okay. It means we can take more time covering all the wonderful changes, and my boss can spend more time berating me about my energy level. I'm really going to crank it up this week. Let's kick things into overdrive. Here's all the changes from the month of February. Number one. Descript Season 8 launched, and with it, major upgrades to working with scenes, layouts, and transitions. What's a season, you ask? It's just how we bundle big, exciting changes. Don't worry about it. Number two. First, we introduced an upgraded layout gallery where you can pick individual layouts from your pre-built or custom layout packs. These are the same as templates, we're just using the term layouts to refer to the arrangement of items in your scene, and layout packs to refer to these collections of layouts that share the same design. We've got new layouts for intros, multi-camera layouts, chapter cards, screen recordings, b-roll, or anything else you might need for a professionally crafted, visually engaging video. We've also added newly designed layout packs full of colorful, customizable content. Picking one of these will give your video a consistent look and feel. The layout picker has a handy search tool and we automatically filter for layouts that match your video resolution and number of cameras. That's not all. There's also a new scene toolbar under the canvas. You can use it to quickly swap layouts, adjust transitions, or change backgrounds for your scene. Also this new add layout button on the script toolbar. We've also renamed the canvas. It's now called the Scene Editor to help users understand the connection between scenes and layouts. The critics have spoken. They're saying, exciting. Number three. The next exciting upgrade in Season 8 is Smart Transitions. This is a new type of automated transition that detects and adds tasteful animations for transitioning the layers that change between scenes. It will add smooth animations, zooms, fades, wipes, and other transitions to all of your layers at once so you can add professional polish to any video just by turning it on. It's on by default in our new layout packs, and you can turn it on by default for all transitions in the settings menu. This setting is in beta, so be warned. Number four. There were a number of exciting updates to translation in January, and we kept that momentum rolling into February by adding translation capabilities for Korean, Japanese, and Mandarin Chinese. These options are under the regular translation menu and are fully supported for batch exports, which we added last month. We also made some upgrades to text-to-speech generation that improve the speed of generation and the quality of output. Finally, business and enterprise users have also received upgraded voice training models for custom AI speakers. This new model has a more expressive and lifelike tone that can come across more naturally than the previous model. Maybe this whole video was made with one. It wasn't, but wouldn't it be cool if it was? Number 5. Here's all the bugs we fixed in February. Even when we're busy making big changes, we take time to step on the little things. Uh, that didn't come out right, I'll, I'll workshop it. That's all for Descript in February. There's more stuff in the written version in the link below. I used the word exciting five times. How's that for big energy, boss? I'm the Descript changelog, and I'll see you next time.